Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I have a chance to uh, make a video on a 18 inch long neck console walking foot machine. This is the premiere by console. So console has now two, I'm sure everyone knows, console and premiere. Premiere is a little bit more economy type of sewing machine. So uh, this is a single needle machine uh, and it's a long neck. Usually it would be a 206 RB-18. And I'm gonna tell you what is the difference between 206 RB-18 and 1255 RB. Uh, so uh, before we go anywhere, uh, you know, one of the main sewing machine that Conso has on walking foot and usually Conso is very good with heavy duty sewing machine is the 206 RB, it's, they had it since forever. A 206 RB is a side load bobbin case, meaning that from here, you would change the bobbin and the bobbin case is right here. A 255 RB is the top load. And it's a huge bobbin, it's not an M bobbin, uh, it's a, uh, extra large bombing and it's top loads from here. Now, when it comes P1, P stand for premier and one is just to change an item number from 255 RB, they did P1255 RB. Now, B is, uh, uh, L, H is a long heavy duty, long handle and 18 dash one obviously is 18 inch is one needle. The one here is for one needle. So they may also make this in two needle. Uh, please don't get confused, but this is a single needle, 18 inch neck, long neck, uh, post, I mean, uh, uh, flatbed, uh, top load uh, walking food machine. Uh, two minutes, too much information. Um, now, the reason this is top load is because a lot of time when you're sewing, a lot of people, I mean, top load is much a stronger, heavier duty sewing machine the way they designed it originally. Uh, but a lot of people rather to have the top load and that's what it is. So it's a top load one. And now the difference between this and the 206, 206 RB18 is that this one is higher here. You see this right here, it's two inch different than the 206 RB. Uh, so this machine is going to a, a car manufacturer that make, they make the, the seat, the car seat that you sit on and they need more space here. They originally wanted to go for 206, but when we checked and we did the um, measurement, uh, 255 RB would be better. So that's why you have this here. Now this is again, P1255 RB LH, L stand for long, 18 inch, and we're gonna start sewing. So the good thing is that we haven't even, they just started making them, I mean, putting it together, and it's not threaded. I get a lot of calls from people that why do you only uh, show the sewing and not the threading, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go over the sizes. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit long video, but, the table here is about 55 inch table. Uh, the, the width is 20, 22 inch. An adjustable, uh, I would say T legs, but it cannot put wheels on it. You see, you could adjust this one. Um, and we have it right now exactly 30 inch, like any other sewing machine. Uh, if you show the bottom, totally different than any other sewing machine. Like more longer uh, feet. This is a foot lifter. You usually have a knee lifter here, but you have a pedal here that uh, raises the foot right here. And this is the pedal. We have it set up on a a gold star GBSM-34 brushless motor. I have a new tech LED lamp on, 
and the bed of the sewing machine. Entire bed is 28 and a half. Again, I'm sure you know this, but from needle to neck is 18 inch. Uh, again, the reason the customer bought this was this length between here is 18 inch, I mean six inch. Right here is five inch. And I'm gonna give more information on the machine. Uh, automatic bobbin winder, right here. All right. So let me take my jacket off. And let me get, I'm working on a 207 nylon thread by new tech. These are the ones that you could buy on our website. This is a 207 white thread. Um, so you have two, one for sewing machine and one for bobbin winding. I'm gonna go over both of them. Make sure, again, this is very important that you guys know that when you do the sewing, please, make sure your thread line is correctly done. This is very, very important. I, uh, you know, if you guys are doing it, make sure there are many holes in here. You don't have to use all the holes if you don't want, but uh, I'm gonna use like all the holes. You see, it's gonna give it more tension. Like if you want, I'm gonna just go one, two here. I'm not gonna use all of these things, even though you could do it if you want in and out, in and out. This is the first time I'm using this machine, so I have no idea how it's threaded. I have an idea, but I'm gonna go, if I make a boo boo, you know, it's okay. It shows that it's good to not to know how to thread and just um, take it easy and make sure that it's, you know, uh, you're gonna make mistake and it's good, all right. Um, by the way, there is a paperwork here this is for the brushless motor, and this is for sewing machine. Uh, and I'm sure they show how to uh, do the, um, this is for double needle, this is a single needle machine. So they pretty much have the same book for both double needle and single needle. I'm sure they're gonna show how to thread, and I'm gonna go over it, sometimes they don't, but um, parts manual, I don't think they're showing. And if they're not showing, it's... Okay, so... Um, threading. On page six, it shows you how to thread. Again, this machine has a... I just wanted to show uh, that... Um, they did... Uh, you see on the side, had a manual bobbin winder, but they didn't have to put it on because then the machine now has a automatic bobbin winder, but it's okay, good. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to, uh, in and out, I think we have to do in and out, or go in, out. See, yeah. So I went in here, I did double loop here. I used all the holes here, I only used the hole here. I didn't use this hole. You could use it here, it showed you. Uh, it n again, not, not, not very good, but uh, um, it at least, you know, uh, it is better than nothing. Um, and it seems like it's gonna work. And then on the top has two holes right here. The thread guide, I'm gonna use only one. I'm not gonna use both. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna put it through all these uh, thread guides. And here, you see there is some uh, padding here. The padding is for, uh, to make sure, if you want, you could put add some silicone oil. I'm gonna put it through, again, we're using a very, very heavy thread called 207. Uh, um, on this machine, you could also use um, 
if if you if you are you have a sewing machine that you don't know how to thread the needle there is also a dimple and a slit on the side and the slit is to just uh, and my eyes are again we bring this up I put it through you need a um, tweezer tweezer to do this okay now we did this hopefully everything gonna be okay but we're gonna revisit that if it does it's not okay now for the bobbin winder I'm gonna come through here I don't want to go in winder if you could show this bobbin winder on the side the manual one that we're not gonna use this is a manual one that comes with all the machine but since this machine has one set up on the head, I'm gonna use the one that is on the head, you see? This one, we're gonna use this one. You're gonna put it for the tension, we're gonna put it through. And these are bonded thread, so it's heavy. Um, I'm gonna take it off from the first thread hole, put it through, and we're gonna put it through the other one. And got it stuck around. See, just make sure it's inside this. Okay, and this one you could put it and attention, I mean, give it some tension, let's, See what else we have. Let's see if we have bobbin, extra bobbins in here. So we have a bunch of needles. The needles is 135 by 17, and the one that came with it is size 23. Pretty heavy, and uh, we have up to 24. So I'm gonna take one of the bobbins out, and this is not M bobbin again. This is, um, I don't know what is the initial for this. I forgot, but we have Tons of this in stock. So we're gonna take one bobbin, we're gonna put it around, and see, we're gonna go around and give it good, maybe four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, turn, and lock it right here, and it might open up, but I'm gonna let that go alone. That's gonna continue here again, I'm sorry. Uh, we have a bunch of tools, uh, a wrench, um, screwdriver, anything else now. I'm gonna put this back in there. And we have the oil, and I'm gonna tell you where the oil goes. Uh, okay. Now, I'm gonna just push this back and show you what we have in here. Okay, let's see what we have inside. And it's really heavy. So this machine does not take, or it takes, yes. This machine has a um, oil reservoir. So here, you don't do anything with it. Make sure when you get it, you clean it up. Make sure there is nothing, no dust or sand or anything inside. Like we have this um, packing stuff, a styrofoam. Here, make sure, make sure it's clean, maybe you WD-40 or some uh, stuff and make sure like this one, if you can see, this is the pump. And here we have some of this stuff stuck. I'm gonna have the guys double check, but then you pour all the oil in this section. In this section right here. And when you need, people need to know how to change the oil, there is a hole here inside. You could open this hole and get rid of the oil. Um, Everything is the same. You don't do anything when you get the machine. It's gonna be like this box right here. Nothing is gonna be, I mean, you don't need to assemble anything. When you put the head in there, make sure that you do it right, you do it good. Uh, show the back. Look at this beauty back here. All these arms, wow. If you see any of this, tiny hole with the red dot on them. You just wanna put a drop of oil as often as you use the machine. If you're using every day, maybe every day put one tiny drop in here. 
and you'll see your beautiful machine here is also if you could come take a look um, drop of oil right here and but there is a pump here that goes through everything so right now we're good i'm not going to use any um oil right now because this machine has been shipped to east coast from california if you're going to ask what is this this is a safety clutch if the if you're sewing something and the machine for some, whatever reason is going through very very heavy stuff and i mean very very heavy stuff the machine will lock up and then because it doesn't want to ruin the hooks the bobbin the bobbin cases all you need to do press this and wiggle this back and forth and it will open up this is the reverse and this is a, a stitch length up to nine millimeters from three to nine um and let's start sewing today I'm, i know i'm gonna a lot of people are gonna come and say david why are you run ruining such a beautiful beautiful vinyl but we're gonna go over it we're gonna have a lot of fun with this today uh i'm gonna raise the foot and then i'm gonna take this out and there is already let's see if we could take the thread out so the way we do it is i'm gonna hold this by the way i have about i'm saying maybe about 30 or 40 different type of feet for this machine and we have a set of 18 feet that will totally fit work with this machine to take the needle out i'm gonna just go ahead and see if i could See right now there is a lot of tension. Even though, see whenever you put your feet on the pedal, it releases all of these things. It seems like it's still, there is a lot of, so I wanna make sure that we're good. This is very, very it's all about adjustment. You gotta adjust your thread, the guide, make sure that right now. I'm having a hard time pulling this through. It's difficult because it's a, the, the tension is really hard. See, I'm trying to, and it might have to do with all of these holes that I went through. See, because from here, you could always check. You could release one and then check to see, like right now it's coming pretty good. So I gotta see, and after it stuck, it's hard. It seems that this is the problem right here. Too much, uh, see? Yeah, seems like you could go and here it's very easy coming out. And then when I do this, it's easy coming in. And here it's easy coming in. So it seems like here is the problem. You know what I'm saying? You could test, see right now it's not coming. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna just make it go through one of them and tie it back together. Again, you gotta be, don't get frustrated. People call me, hey, this doesn't work. Immediately, as soon as they got it out of the box, the machine is not working, I wanna send it back. You know, it takes time for you guys to know what type of, uh, tension you need, what type of uh, adjustment you need. See right now, see, very easy coming through. So that was the problem. It's, uh, even though it could have gone, I could have used this one, another one to go in and out, but I'm not using it. I don't need that. All right. I'm gonna put it through and Thank you, camera person, for being patient. All right. 
out. This is a finger guard that a lot of people find it annoying because it gets sometimes stuck here there, but I, I like it. You could adjust it sometimes. So the foot is down. Everything is good. Let me see, pull the bottom thread out. Okay, one more time. Lock it when you put the bobbin in, lock, and then the slit, put it through right there. And First time, you're gonna have a little bit of uh, challenge making sure everything is okay. After that, you're not gonna have any problem. Everything's gonna be done when you set. Right now, I'm trying to get the needle up and I wanna make sure that everything is okay. We are, one of the reasons that we're having a hard time is because we are working with very, very, very heavy thread. And this heavy thread, we don't want it to get stuck around the hook because it gets around, gets stuck around the hook, then you have to take the hook out and do a total adjustment, and I don't know how to time the hook. So I wanna to try to first get rid of, make sure that it's not happening here. I wanna take this thread out, okay? And another way is to just open this one up, make sure there is nothing stuck down here, and that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, again, this is a very, very hard, 207 is a very tough thread to work with, but as soon as you get it going the first time, this is a lighter one, this is probably a 69, that's why maybe it's not pulling it up, maybe 69, if I see if it's not pulling it up, usually you have to have both thread the same exact size. So this one is a 69, this is a 207. Uh, I'm gonna try one more time to see if that's the case, otherwise if it doesn't pull it out, it doesn't mean that it's not gonna work with the 207, it definitely will work with the 207 thread. That's what these machines are made to do. So I'm gonna, one more time, try to put the thread out, come on. Here you go, I pulled it out. See, easy, you gotta be patient. I brought it out. When you take that thread out, then you know everything's working perfect. So close it, I'm gonna raise the foot and I'm gonna bring this down and I'm gonna also bring the other thread down. And I just want you guys to see the hole. You see what a big eye on the feed dog? Look at that, unbelievable. All right, now. Just for you guys to see, this is a very heavy duty vinyl that a lot of people work on. And I'm gonna do four, and I'm gonna put it down. And so one of the things that the customer wanted us to do was to have the, um, foot pedal in the middle, and that's what we did. I'm gonna bring this thing out, push it back, and now, the reason they got this is because here, meaning they wanted this to have a huge, like imagine you have something that you need to fold here, that, and let's have, to start, I'm gonna just go over one, and 
When I tell you butter, I mean butter. I tell, tell people butter. See how fast and good. Now, I want you to take a look in the back. You see this one? I don't like the back stitch. That means that the tension has to be adjusted. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it two turn, okay? I want it to be very tight. And again, this is very, very, very um, light material for this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it back. Okay, and I'm gonna start going. We are having a little bit of problem when the, this goes down with the thread. And again, it's because the threads are not the same. This is the uh, 207 thread and this is 69. So, but you see, I adjusted the back and the, you don't have the white thread coming up. I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna do more layers, but you see, the, you get the idea. The up, the top and bottom thread have to be exactly the same size. Uh, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try on the canvas too right now. I'm gonna whenever you want to pull the fabric out, just go ahead and put your feet on the pedal and just release, and then cut. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do another layer and another layer. This much. And if it's gonna go underneath, see this thickness. See this thickness, if it's gonna go underneath, you gotta make, you bet it's gonna show. And it's gonna go underneath, okay? We'll close it. Now, imagine this was a very heavy type of uh, cushion that it has to be all the way here and it couldn't do anything and it was long. This will work because the stitching in the back, I adjusted. If you have any problem, you could always spray the, uh, the, the machine. And by the way, see, I'm gonna, Make sure that this is working all right. So I probably had to come from here. So the, the idea is that while you're sewing, this could go on. And so I'm gonna try one more time to show you guys. Look at it. Adjustment, if you wanna go back, go back, speed. Going forward, I'm gonna get another very heavy piece of fabric. Look at this. This is a canvas awning, look at this. This is amazing, this is, you have one layer here, you have two, another two layers here and four layers and So if you guys doing something really heavy and you need a sewing machine and you need to be long neck, this is a very, very good machine and it's very good prices on our website. Uh, let me know if you want me to do other videos for you, but uh, again, 
amazing, amazing sewing machine from uh, Conso. This is Premier line, and I'm gonna now do. It. Woo! Okay. So what we did is now we wanted to go through all of these things, and we broke the needle, but and it got stuck. So it's very easy. You just raise and you. Take it out. I'm gonna show you. We already saw this, look at this. Perfect, but here is the needle we broke because it wouldn't go through. I mean, we had to go through this and go through this. So what we're gonna do is gonna change the needle. And it's very easy to change the needle. I'm gonna do that. And I'm happy that this thing happened so you guys can see how this thing is gonna be done. Opening up the needle, you have already a screwdriver. Go to the side, open. Before you open the needle, make sure that you have that piece of needle out and it's not in your garment or clothing or your furniture or whatever you're sewing. Get this, really get rid of it. Open this up. And take this. You have the dimple one side, a slit the other side. Dimple to the right and a slit to the left. Make sure it's perfect all the way up. And it's really the dimple to the side. Go ahead and tie it really good. All right, get this, put it back in there. sure that I do this and then rail the foot, bring this down and look at this. Unbelievable sewing, no? That's really unbelievable. And continue sewing. You want to do bag, you want to do shoes, you want to do God knows. Anything you want to do, this is a great machine. You just try this 207 thick thread on a 155RBH-LH-1. Great machine from Council. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. Again, here, and this is going and turning. While we're doing this, just make sure, see? And whenever it's full, it's gonna stop. Again, this is David from Gold Star Tool, and thank you for watching, and have a great time.